Hello to all YouTubers and welcome back to another educational video by New York Stilo. Today is day number 17 of this 90 gallon build process and of course today we're going to be covering the nitrogen cycle. Very hot topic. Uh, lots of questions get sent out to me. How long is this going to take? How long is this algae going to last in my system? How do I get rid of it? We're going to talk a little bit about all of that including how the nitrogen cycle uh, works. Now I'm not going to get all technical here you know with uh, details and scientific terms here I'm gonna break it down to you guys as easy as it looks and as easy as uh, for you to really grasp it and understand that patience is key to being successful in this hobby guys uh, you're gonna hear me say that to you I know I've said it a thousand times and you're gonna hear me say it a thousand times more now before we get into the um, diatoms and the uh, cycle process here just a quick update I've added three inches of live sand to the refugium. A future video will be released uh, talking about how to properly set up a refugium. Very important, what macroalgae to use, which ones to not use, why stay away from certain types of macroalgae. Um, the Miracle Mud is set to arrive here tomorrow, as well as the rest of the sand. Uh, Miracle Mud will be added on top of uh, this three inch uh, deep sand bed of sugar fine sand. Uh, um, the sand is for the main display will arrive here tomorrow as well. Uh, we'll be doing a video review on nature's ocean live sand. I really want to talk about the reason why I use this one instead of another name brand. And uh, quickly just wanted to show you guys how well the protein skimmer is doing. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Some live rock has been added to the first stage here. And uh, I cleaned out the protein skimmer, when was it, like two days ago? The day before yesterday, and you can see here, um, there's about two to three inches of gunk already collected here. A uh, protein skimmer is absolutely awesome. Now, the nitrogen uh, cycle here. Let's talk about some of the mistakes that I've done. Because when I talk to you about a particular subject here, I want you guys to know that it's not because I've read it somewhere, it's because I've been there and I've done that. Now what happened to me was that when my first 45 gallon system cycled, I was taking out the rock every day and scrubbing it because I didn't like the look of this nuisance type algae here which is the end process of the cycle. This is uh, diatoms growing all over your rock and it's an in it could be an indication of the end of the cycle however to me it would be more classified as or described as the beginning of the end of the cycle and what I'm trying to tell you here is that just because you see diatoms growing on top of your rock does not mean that there is no signs of ammonia and nitrite now let's talk about ammonia and nitrite now in order for you to cycle a marine aquarium there has to be some sort of decaying matter within the aquarium. Uh, fish uh, poo, a dead fish, uh, you know, a dead piece of shrimp, some live rock. Now, uh, there are three ways that you can cycle a marine aquarium. Using live rock is one of them. The best way, the absolute best way, uh, insert, inserting a dead piece of shrimp into your marine aquarium and allowing it to decompose or uh, using some hardy fish to cycle the aquarium. Now we're going to get into that a little later because I definitely do not recommend you to use any kind of fish to cycle your marine aquarium. So how does the cycle a process begin and, and what exactly happens? Now what happens here, here is that uh, as you have uh, decomposition occurring in the tank, uh, for example a live rock here uh, when it ships from the ocean directly to your home it does experience some die-off and this die-off is great for cycling a marine aquarium now when this die-off is decomposing in your tank or rotting away uh, the result is ammonia and so you have ammonia present in your marine aquarium now it is very important for you not to add a fish during the time in which ammonia is present in your marine aquarium and the reason for that is because ammonia is extremely toxic I mean poisonous to the fish it'll literally kill the fish there's only a selective few hardy marine uh, fish that will actually survive being exposed to ammonia 
in your tank it is extremely uh, toxic and you cannot just take a tank and just uh, you know take some salt water and some rock and add some fish on the same day it's, it doesn't work that way guys you have to age the water you have to go through this cycle process very important so once you have ammonia in the tank nature comes in and detects that there is ammonia in the system and what happens is that bacteria start to form and live within the tank that consume this ammonia and turn it into nitrite now nitrite nitrite is also very toxic not as toxic as ammonia but extremely toxic to your fish so it is important that if you have signs of nitrite within your system do not add fish as well uh, you know what this bacteria consuming the ammonia and basically pooing nitrite is going to create a nitrite spike in your aquarium so your ammonia is basically going to go down to almost undetectable levels and this is because there's so much bacteria within the tank consuming the ammonia faster than it can be produced so when it reaches zero your nitrite is going to spike up and when the nitrite spike up more bacteria start growing in your tank that consume the nitrite and poo it basically throw it out or the waste of the bacteria eating the nitrite is going to result in nitrate now nitrate is the end process of the cycle until you see that with a test kit very important you must use a test kit just determining that your cycle is done by seeing this brown algae growing on your rocks you can be completely incorrect here you must test your system when you actually see that your ammonia and your nitrite have gone down to undetectable levels then and only then it is safe for you to say that your marine aquarium has cycled now when nitrite appears in your system you know in high levels what happens is that diatoms are going to grow out of nowhere now you don't need to introduce diatoms to your system this is nature doing its thing so diatoms are going to appear and resemble this brown algae that is completely covering the rocks we're gonna get closer here and so these diatoms uh, consume nitrate and silicate which is found in your uh, live rock or sand or around the entire aquarium you can see it it's all over the uh, glass here uh, the back overflow box all over the rocks completely covering everything and this is very unsightly but let me tell you this it's only going to get worse before it gets better so a lot of people make the mistake including myself when I first started oh they start worrying about all this uh, you know algae and stuff and take out the rocks and starts cleaning it and stuff like that I'm here to tell you that this is absolutely normal and patience is key and you have to be patient because all of this algae is eventually going to starve itself out once the levels of nitrate go down the this algae will starve itself out now what happens is that the tank is ready for animals however the next step in setting up a marine aquarium would be the addition of the cleanup crew which i have ordered uh, yesterday i ordered the cleanup crew now the cleanup crew that i'm adding to this system is 200 dollars worth i mean you know when we're talking cleanup crew each one of these critters could be anywhere from two dollars to five dollars a piece and you're gonna need a lot of them depending on the size of your system I will do a detailed video on cleanup crews we're gonna talk about which animal I've added what is the purpose of each and every one of these animals especially uh, talking about the ones that are going to be beneficial for my deep sand bed very important uh, video which is coming up uh, within the next few days so there are three ways for you to cycle your aquarium one the use of live rock now the use of live rock is the absolute best your tank can cycle within seven days I kid you not guys now with the use of a dead piece of shrimp let's say for example uh, you were to add some fake decorations and nothing live 
uh, you know, you can insert a dead piece of shrimp and let it decompose. Uh, this type of cycle can last anywhere from uh, two weeks to a month. So it, 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 it depends on which approach you use here and it, and, and it also comes down to the type of live rock that you use because if you use base rock or anything of the sort which is not really coming straight out of the out of the ocean the time is different what I'm trying to tell you here it's different for each and every one of us not every system is the same your cycle can last more than a month it can last two to three days before you start seeing all this algae but it is absolutely important for you to test your system now the third way for you to cycle your marine aquarium would be to add some hardy fish a lot of people like to add some chromuses and you know as you feed them in the tank they pee and they poo and it forces the cycle upon the system guys do not do this because if I was to take you and put you in a tank like this and expose you to ammonia and nitrite you try to put yourself in the animal shoes despite the fact that they're very hardy it is just not I mean if you can do it with live rock or just adding a dead piece of shrimp why expose your fish to that abuse because it is abuse basically and so those are the three ways that I know of that I recommend you guys to cycle your aquarium um, my tank is going to go through other mini cycles so patience is key and before I begin to add any animals to the system it will be about another month or so maybe even more now one last thing that I wanted to cover here in order for you to really add certain hardier species after the cycle such as SPSs or anemones it is recommended that you really if you're a beginner I would say wait six months to a year seriously guys and the reason why I say this is because you have to learn a little bit more about the chemistry of marine aquariums you know during the cycle process and when you first start out there's gonna be so many uh, fluctuations in pH and everything it's just gonna throw everything out of whack and uh, to be honest with you your anemones or SPSs will most likely die uh, this is this is the uh, the truth here once you get comfortable with dealing with the chemistry of marine aquariums then it is safe and you stabilize that pH and you keep your calcium and alkalinity then and only then is it safe for you to really add uh, some of these uh, more difficult to keep animals you know they really require aged water and the such so um, I hope you guys have uh, found this video informational once again uh, patience is key expect your tank to look worse than this guys your sand is going to be completely covered and if you come up to me and you ask me how long is it going to last before this algae dies out I can tell you that there is no definitive answer here I cannot tell you how long because one indication for you to know that your tank is actually reaching stability will be when you start to see more and more green algae growing and the diatoms are going to die off more and more so uh, with that said um, you know we're going to be making uh, several videos in the future. Hope you guys have found this video informational. Any questions, comments, concerns, can uh, voice your opinion down below. You can post them. If you have any questions on the cycle process itself, uh, definitely hit me up. I'll be more than glad to help you guys out. But um, make sure you understand that you must be patient. And with that said, this is New York Steelo signing out. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Many more videos to come. Peace.